Welcome to the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Birdie Consulting Group. To get more information about our coaching, publishing, executive ghostwriting, and podcast production services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Hello, I am Paul Brady, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. And today, we're being joined by Colin Sonilia, author of Culture of Excellence, What We Can Learn from the Yankees About Leadership. Colin, welcome to the show. Thank you, Paul, for having me. I appreciate it. Well, we are thrilled to have you. Are you ready to begin? I am ready to go. All right. Question number one. What is the one piece of advice that you would give to a first-time author who is currently writing their book? Great question. I think that the best advice I can give is to be confident that the book that you're writing is the book that you are supposed to be writing. (laughs) I think a lot of us get different opinions from loved ones, from outside sources about what we should be writing. And so many of us, one day we just decide maybe there's a momentous time to it, or maybe we just hop onto the computer and start writing. And then we get that thought in our head, should we be writing this? Should we not be confident that the book you are writing is the book that you are supposed to be writing and it will come out the way that you want. And what do you feel is the hardest part about getting published? Yeah, this is a loaded question, so I'll be concise. The hardest part about traditionally getting published is access. That, I think, is the easiest way to say that. If you are going the self-publishing route, which is the route I went, the hardest part about that is doing your homework and weeding out all the noise. There are a ton of editors out there. There are a ton of designers out there. But... As you know, Paul, and as a lot of our listeners know, there are a lot of very specific specs and different elements that you need in order to actually publish a book. It can't just be a Word document that you throw (laughs) into a system. There's so much that goes into it that I personally don't know how to do, and I was relying on other people. So being able to find somebody who's reputable, that you can trust, who's going to do a good job for you, and who is affordable enough as well that's probably the hardest part those are the hardest parts excuse me about being self-published yeah i think when you talk about weeding out all the noise i mean there's just so many different ways you can take this route and everyone has an Mm -hmm. opinion and if you talk to 10 people you're probably going to get 10 different opinions on it so it's really tough (laughs) to be able to zero in and just really focus on just getting the book done otherwise everything just becomes overwhelming and that book just gets stuck on paper oh yeah absolutely where there were a lot of times where I felt that exact feeling and I was like, am I going to move forward? And fortunately we did and we're here today. (laughs) Well, let's talk about marketing. So please share a marketing strategy that you have used in your book launch that has worked well. Yeah, absolutely. So I think the best thing that I did was, and I borrowed this from another baseball writer. She wrote a book about the women's baseball league in America back in the 1950s, she put together a Dropbox. And in this Dropbox, there was an advanced reader e-copy of the book. There were author pictures. There were pictures from the book or just designs from the cover. Just anything related to the book was in this one Dropbox where she could send the link, made it really easy. And so what I did when I was asking people to be a part of my book launch team, I told them, If you be a part of the book launch team, you get an advanced reader copy of the book for free. And we gave them that advanced reader copy. They got all those other elements. And it was amazing, not just how appreciative the people were to get that advanced reader copy, but how much they, as a result, the people on my team spread the word and really were those super fans. That's what you're trying to build in that launch, right? Like you're trying to build those super fans and that awareness so that by the time your publication date comes, you have a lot of positive momentum. And I think by not just offering the advanced reader copy, but having that Dropbox, which was really easy and uh, just really intuitive for a lot of people to use, that that was a strategy that worked really well. And that word free, you know, catches a lot of people, but I think all the elements that were involved made it really successful and really something that I think is easy for anyone to do. 
Speaking of books, I'd like to know what is your favorite book and what was the number one thing that you learned from it? <laughs> a lot of books to choose from. I'm a huge reader. <laughs> but I think the book that I always think about whenever I get asked this question is Legacy by James Kerr. It's a book about the New Zealand All Blacks, the rugby team, one of the, uh, the most prominent franchises in the world, probably up there with the Yankees. And I think the thing that I learned the most from that book, I remember when I got it, I thought it was going to be this like super detailed, very long, drawn out account. I was excited for it, but I didn't really know what to expect. And I got it and it was super concise. It was super easy to understand. And I think as a result of that, that has made the book really popular, not just in people who enjoy sports. And I, I'm not a rugby fan. I've never watched a rugby game in my life. But I know James uh, Kerr does a lot of work in the business world as well because the lessons, the leadership lessons that he teaches in that book and the cultural lessons that he teaches in that book from the New Zealand All Blacks, they translate. And he was able to do that. So I think when I was writing my own book where I got the – uh, motivation to do that or, or even the idea to do it I kept thinking of that I said hey I need to be concise I need to be simple so that other people not just baseball fans or fans of the Yankees can take these lessons and apply them to their own lives well and you're talking to a huge New Zealand All Blacks fan so I've got the jersey I've got the hats <laughs> I'm a big fan so I love the fact that you have mentioned that example because that's a book I want to check out for sure and then for for a final oh, yeah. question I'd like to ask what is your favorite quote and why? Yeah, my favorite quote for ever and ever has always been, always believe deep down that you are destined to do great things. And I think the reason I love that quote so much is specifically for the word believe. And we as kids, our imagination runs wild and we have all these different ideas and we're out exploring and playing and meeting people and coming up with all these great things and then we become adults and reality sets in and we start getting a, a little bit more complacent and we stop using our imagination we stop getting curious and we stop believing in ourselves we think that we just have to do the corporate nine to five job that we can't write the book that we've had in our minds for all these years and that that word believe just is really powerful to remember that there are some things maybe that you can't do in this world because of money or access, but for the most part, if you believe you can do it and you put the time in, you'll be able to accomplish really great things. Colin, I want to thank you for being a guest on the show. What is the best way for people to find you online? Yeah, absolutely. I am all over <laughs> social media, uh, specifically my business, the Talent 409 Leadership Academy. The handle is super easy. It's at Talent409, the number's 409. So Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook. You can also visit our website, www.talent409.com. There is a link to the Culture of Excellence book as well. And I have a personal Twitter if you want to get in touch with me there. Colin at talent or excuse me at Colin talent 409 and you can also connect with me on LinkedIn my first name Colin my last name Cernelia I'm sure that'll be in the show notes much easier for people to look at that versus me spelling it out <laughs> Colin thank you once again for being on the show and I wish you all the best in your author journey ahead yeah thank you Paul I appreciate it it was a lot of fun thanks again for joining us today to learn more about how to get your book published with a proven system that works Grab a free copy of my book at getpublishedpodcast.com.